So for a home job, I think it's come out relatively well, really. I mean, it's not going to uh, crack anymore, that's for sure. Yeah, a bit. Hey guys, we're back again today. Uh, we're going to be looking at a broken Shimano E8000 motor cover. And uh, basically, what we did to fix it. Alright, so here we have our Commonsau Metapower 29 Essential. Uh, in that lovely, lovely grey, concrete grey colour scheme. We, uh, we won't talk about that, we'll move on. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. But uh, it's a bit bland. Um, if you ask me. So what we're looking at today is the Shimano E8000 motor on this bike. So you'll notice that the cover here is actually missing. Normally that's on there. Now, I've taken it off because it broke, basically. So it's this real uh, flimsy... I didn't think it was flimsy until I undid it, but it's like this real thin layer of Plastic. To my knowledge, I can't see that it's it's reinforced. Um, yeah, I don't think I don't think that I've needed to majorly reinforce it structurally because it's not really in like that that impact zone under here. But to my knowledge, it wasn't wasn't structural enough because this bike hasn't been crashed. It hasn't taken any big hits, and the plastic cover broke. So yeah, I discovered it when I was washing it and going over the bike just to check everything out. And uh, yeah, I've got it here. Alright, so this is the cover as we know it today. This is the back side of it. This is the front side. So, originally, this is just plastic. It's hard to hard to tell it's like um it looks the same as this this plastic here just the generic sort of I don't know car car plastic I reckon it'd fade over time in enough UV but that's not for me to say <laughs> because it hasn't so basically this oh, sits something like oh, sort of like that uh, when it's in properly so basically what's happened is there are all these cracks coming through. Uh, it looked as though it had been impacted by just like a, a rock flicking up. That's all I can think of because obviously this part doesn't move. So you shouldn't think movement would crack it. So I'd say it was just like a, a flying rock. But um, no, it was cooked. It's hard to see on the back at the moment because... There's so much epoxy. I should have I should have been clever and taking it earlier. Oh, you can I'll try to zoom in. You can just see it. There's a crack right where my thumb is moving up. That's one crack visible. Um there's another crack here which you can it's hard to tell. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. But um yeah, it was cooked. So, what we decided to do was, instead of having to go through the hassle of ordering a new one and blah blah blah, only for the same thing to more than likely happen again since this bike wasn't actually crashed, was we decided to take this plate off, uh, since it was, still, it was still holding together just, and give it the rounds of carbon fibre and epoxy over the top, a bit of reinforcement. And, uh, well, first impressions, it's not quite ready to go on yet, but I'll edit the video and show you when it is on towards the end. But I think it looks great. It looks sick compared to that crummy old plastic cover, <laughs> um, even though the plastic cover still is here, in essence. But nah, so basically, basically what happened, just put that on the filthy floor. <laughs> Move that magnet away so basically we got the cover put this nice sheet of carbon carbon wrapping around it 
Uh, and then, as with the button cover, the infamous button cover, we just got our two-part epoxy. This is part B. There's a part A, which I'm not showing you because, you don't, frankly, you don't care. <laughs> um, and then let it dry. I think we've done three coats of epoxy total. And I reckon it's it's ready to ready to go on and give it a test. Um Yeah. It looks great though. So um I guess we'll just we'll just cut now to when it actually is on and see how it worked out. We've uh we've just put another coat of clear on it. Um it looks good from a distance. Close up though, might have to do it again. It's sort of uh, sort of been a bit carefree and putting it on looks sort of all scabby. Just like I don't know. Either sand it, do it again. Uh, good thing is I've successfully stuck it to the bench, so that's a bit of an issue. <laughs> um, yeah, moving forward though. Always positive. All right, the finished product. Um, so it's on. I'll do the close up. It's a bit banged up, especially around here because it's been a bit rough in drilling the holes, which I accidentally covered, and then it's just a bit dirty. But um, no, nah, structurally, it's awesome. Um. Basically, there's no more cracks in it anymore. <laughs> um, it could do aesthetically, like you can see there. There's a bit of a bit of a little aesthetic defect on the clear coat. So p there's potential to make the finish better, but it's not my bike, <laughs> and uh, they're they're pretty happy with it. They don't really care what it looks like aesthetically, just as long as it holds up. Um, so yeah, I reckon it actually looks pretty cool. Like, looking at it, you'd just, if you didn't know, you'd think it was, it was stock. It was meant to be like that. Unlike, unlike this button up here. <laughs> that, that does not look stock in any way, shape or form. But this, this does. Yeah, I rate it. Um, I guess we'll just have to test now and uh, give it the, the long-term review on whether it holds up or not. But uh, until then, it's, it's sweet. Yeah, so I hope you like that. Something a bit different than the Turbo Levo videos or the reviews. Just a bit, a bit left of field. Um, let me know if you liked it. Uh, obviously I don't want to go out and break more stuff to need fixing, but if you do like it and want more sort of like videos on that, let me know and, uh, I can scrounge around and see what I've got. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously it did take about a week to do enough time for me to get my hair cut from the start of the video. I presume, I presume I've got long hair then. So yeah, enjoy, subscribe for more. I'm getting the getting the action cam fixed up soon so that I can get some trail footage. I'll see you later.